It's Follow Up Friday with Frenchie. Well, thank you for tuning in on another Friday. You know it's not always about real estate. So today I want to share something that I share every year because it always stops me in my tracks and gives me a memory. A few years ago, as sometimes it happens when you have littles, you put special ornaments up on your tree and they get broke. They fall, maybe they just got broke when you were packaging them. Well, I had a few ornaments that were from my great grandmother, so my Mimi's mom. And they were a Lennox ornament, the box I still have because it was so old. It was just something really special from the original Kaufman's in downtown. And both of the ornaments got broke. They were really fragile. They were very thin. So I found these Christmas bulbs that you are, they're plastic. And you can get them really anywhere, Target, Walmart, Dollar Store, Amazon, I'm sure. And they're made for crafts. You stuff things inside of them. I've seen the shoestrings that you measure your kids each year and put them in there, how tall they are. Um, the yarn. You can paint on them. Well, I had the idea because the ornament got broke and I wanted to keep it. I actually broke it even more because there was no way of repairing it or gluing it. So I took a few paper towels and I laid them down and I put the, the bigger pieces on top, the other paper towel on top of that, parchment paper, and then just rolled it until I knew that they were really small. And then I put the ornaments inside of these plastic ornaments. So if I can zoom in, you'll see the plastic bulb with the broken bulbs inside. So this year I'm actually going to write on them and that's what I would recommend that you do. Put the ornament that broke. It's just a really neat way of having a keepsake. Of course uh, you can try to salvage them and fill glue, things like that. You know that. But for me these were Christmas bulbs that were so thin and paper-like almost that they just crumbled. There was no saving them and I wanted to keep the ornaments because they meant something to me. So now every year when I do my tree in my dining room, which is, this is one of seven of my trees, they go on there and they're really special. So this year I'm going to put Grandma Lil's ornaments on top in Sharpie on the plastic, but I'll always have these two ornaments to remember. And they're pretty inside. Of course, you, I'm sure there's a lot of more elaborate things you can do to save them. Maybe put a picture of what the ornament looked like originally, if you can find one, or put a picture of that person. But it's really special to have those memories and to have keepsakes, at least for me. And then when my kids look at these, they're going to be like, what is that? And then there's a little story with it. This is when you broke them. <laughs> All right, you guys, I know the Christmas season is here, so that's what a lot of my follow-ups will be about. It's one of my favorite seasons. It's not a day. It's a season. And I'll be sharing all my Christmas decor because we have a whole house full. If you have something special that you do to keep a memory, share it with me because those things always are important. I love what I do. I know you will too. I'll see you guys next week.